So this is for all of you super defensive people out there who always want to be right. Um, how do you reduce your defensiveness? You're probably watching this video because it's not working for you. Um, I'm going to turn this into a three tip series. So you have all kinds of mini teachings using NLP and coaching. Um, and um, I'm, right now I'm actually in Los Angeles at the beach, about a block from the training venue. One of our amazing NLP training destinations. Um, all the places are Bali and Miami and Mexico. And there's the online training, of course, as well, uh, that was taped in Joshua Tree, not too far from here, actually. A um, couple hours drive. Anyway, people um, have been studied as to what are, what are our needs? What do scientists say about some of our needs? And we actually have a super high need to be right. In fact, it's so important to us to be right that we actually intentionally choose people around us who will agree with us. So in the friends that we pick, in the family members that we choose to spend more time with, um, in maybe even the kind of jobs and communities we pick, we prefer to be people that actually will agree with us. So what happens if we are surrounding ourselves sometimes with people that we didn't necessarily get to pick, we start clashing, we start to get defensive uh, because we have such a high need to be right. So one way to, one thing to really consider is what's well-being and well-being is defined as PERMA. PERMA stands for positive emotions, um, engagement, like being in the zone, um, usually felt when you're in mastery and things like that. Uh, positive relationships, um, there's a lot going on, always people talking about how positive relationships create a happy life and stuff like that. There is meaning and purpose, serving the greater good outside of ourselves, and there is achievement and accomplishment. So that's PERMA. And I want you to think about uh, a, a context in either a context that reoccurs, so a people, a person that you may constantly end up wanting to fight for your, 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 your right opinions and their wrong opinions and your right ideas and their wrong ideas. Um, or maybe there's a specific memory that really stands out to you. And I want you to really consider if you play that scenario in your head, you could even imagine it in a movie. <laughs> NLP people really like watching things on movies. Um, is to kind of evaluate how is your need to be right actually serving your PERMA? And especially when it comes to meaning and purpose, to serve the greater good. Like how important is it really for you to be right? And to reflect on what specifically it means for you to, to defend yourself in the way that you do, in the way that you use your voice, your tonality, the impact of your defensiveness on the relationship with the other person or their day, their emotions, their PERMA. And so, you know, and are you actually convincing them? That's a, that's a whole other thing. So in light of that, you may want to actually consider once in a while, just being able to say, um, I, 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 I understand that this is important for you to be, to be right. Uh, I respectfully don't agree with you, but let's just move on, you know, or something like that. And, you can rehearse that answer and rather than going into defensiveness to, to let it all slide off you like a Teflon shield and prepare for it a little bit better. And that's sometimes easier than thinking about your PERMA in the moment, you know, to rehearse it, to train your brain, to just let it go. See you around.